Tekken 8 got a Jin trailer like in the middle of the night again. I think it had been about a week since the Kaz trailer. It was about like a week ago, so we can hopefully expect to get something every week. I hate to say that I'm the most excited about like Lars. All right, yeah, weekly character trailers, I think are gonna be kind of dope. They're doing almost an identical situation to what KOF 15 did, where KOF 15 had a character trailer like every week or two. Uh, and it lasted a very long time. It got a little exhaustive. I think one of the biggest issues with KOF 15 is that there wasn't as much visual differences between 14 to 15. So it kind of got a little like predictable and like, yeah, this character is essentially doing a very similar thing with new mechanics, right? Tekken is the ultimate game of that. You know what I mean? Like Tekken is the ultimate right next to uh, like the KOF as far as the legacy fighting games, some of the most legacy shit, right? Some of the most stuff, you've just been seeing this stuff since 2005 and Tekken 5 type shit, right? But what I really appreciate, at least so far between the, the two character trailers of Nina and Kaz, before we even see Jins, they're really focusing on the new stuff characters can do, right? They're really focusing on what characters can do that is different since Tekken 5. Right, how how different uh, is, is character moves? How different are their new heat attacks? How different are all of their stuff in comparison to previous games? And I think they've actually done a fairly goddamn good job with Kazuya and Nina so far. They made both of those characters kind of hype. To be frank, they're the oldest bitch ass characters in the game. Like they've been there since day effing one, you know? With that being said, I am looking forward to it. Jin was is, is my is my old main. Here's the thing about Jin. When they eventually changed his playstyle, right? And then and they incorporated Devil Jin stuff to bring back the old play style. My issue with Jin is that he became the straightforward, like straight shooter karate guy, right? Or technically, you know, his own Kazama style. And it really didn't have much flash at all, right? He didn't, he, it, all, all the flashy shit eventually got switched over to June, if not Asuka, if not even technically Devil Jin, right? So it was like Jin got split into like all these different characters. And then all of a sudden he's like, kind of like, a, he, he's a good, like, no, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, saying about character balance or anything. Characters obviously good in most of the games. But to me, it's like, he doesn't look as cool. Like the things he does just is so, it's like, straight straightforward now right where he essentially became the uh kira yuki of of tekken where he's like the main character but also one of the hardest to use i don't see myself playing a mishima i don't i really don't see myself playing a mishima anytime soon so i'm i'm a little curious how this trailer is actually going to go oh it is 4k good that's good it said 4k forest of k's I do like his new outfit, though. I think his new outfit's good without being weird. There was always a weird element to it. Maybe it's just, you know, maybe it's just the fact that perspective has changed. Get ready for the next battle. Tekken 8. Tekken 8. New challenger. Damn, they're showing everything on this stage. It just looks too good. It just looks too good. Did he, fl did he fly in? Okay, that's new. Wow, he's, oh wow, okay. This one-winged bitch has a, a dive kick? What? They gave Jin a dive kick? Strength isn't everything? Well, that's a bit different from Tekken 6. Wow, what the dumb shit, dude? Well, okay, <laughs> what the dumb shit? What? That's some usual stuff right there, okay? Into stance. Uh, what was that, force stance? I can't remember the name of it. Very similar to the Kazuya trailer, right? He's like doing everything that Kaz does, but just Jin's in Jin fashion. He's got the kick. Is this gonna be the, the one from the first trailer? He pretty much like shining knuckles you. Hmm. Yeah, he pretty much just does Shining Knuckle, right? That's Devil Jin's dive kick? All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Wait a minute. So, yeah, th he's looking pretty cool. They're, they're essentially doing all of the stuff that I kind of wanted. They're essentially doing all of it. Unfortunately, I think that I only have one criticism. Uh, the rage arts have so far been varying levels of hype and quality. Kaz obviously has the best one. 
And that, we, I was hoping that Devil, uh, not Devil, regular gins was going to be a little bit more from the opening trailer we saw, but it's pretty much the same thing. I still feel that like Law and the ones we've seen of Law and uh, and Paul are, uh, uh, we need to watch this again because I feel like, ah oh, shit, I'm gonna have to learn how to play Jin. Jin's fucking hard, man. Jin, even Jin's combo routes, like the basic stuff is not easy. Like he became like the, like the expert Mishima. Granted, probably the best, Mishima in the game as of right now, but not in a way that is like easy, dude. Let me look at this again. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's not like... One of the reasons I was playing Noctis the most is that, you know, it was it was the character that I sort of stuck with from back in the day and, and just came back to every once in a while. So it was like, oh, I guess I just kind of like this guy, right? Do I like Noctis as a character? No, I don't, like not really. But I did think he has some really flashy shit and really fun stuff. So what Noctis did was allow me not to worry about the character as much and learn the game. And that's a big thing that is really challenging with Tekken. Don't have to worry about the character as much, just learn the game. And there's still a ton of character stuff to figure out. Um, Jin would be like the opposite. He's so, there's so much shit that you have to hold before you can even like grasp the game. You know what I mean? And it, it's, wow. What the hell was that low? These like, these like demon scraper things? So wait a minute. Is this like a power crush and it has like a follow-up? What the shit? Okay, yeah, this is... Now, the big question, right? I have a, a huge question because we don't see it. It's literally Jin and Devil Jin put together. I get it. It is. Are we going to have the one plus four starter? I, I forget what the heck the move is called. One, one plus four, one plus four, two, four, whatever the heck it is. Beep, 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 beep. Right. Are we going to, is that coming back? Are we getting that? I hope so. That's like the, that's like the fun move. Is it, it's in there? No way. Let's see if I can pay attention. Is that three ring circus? Jesus. God damn. Yeah, that's old school. Second five. I don't see it yet. There's the boot. I don't know. Is it supposed to be in there? The spinning kick? Uh, we talking about the same thing? I don't know. The misconception with Jen is that he has hard stuff, but he has a lot of viable, easy stuff too. Here's the thing, dude. Jin has a lot of viable, easy stuff, sure. If you've been playing Tekken 7 for five years, I'll sympathize with you, right? You're right. He's, he's a pretty easy character when you have a ton of experience with the game. I'm saying with very little experience with the game, there's a lot of executional shit you have to worry about, even outside of electrics and stuff, you know? There's quite a bit of shit that, that ultimately will come back and like, okay, so now I really got to figure out this stuff, this stance, like go into stance, do all this stuff. He has spammable stuff too. Buddy, I play Noctis. I play a character that has a two, 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 two. You know? Most of the moves do have new animations, they do. The funny thing is that in a game like Tekken, yeah, you can win the entire game with uh with down four. And uh, and down forward and stand and stand jabs and down forward ones right down forward ones down forward twos you can win the entire game like all characters have that shit if you're good <laughs> right if you're really if you really understand the systems of Tekken and you have your good mid your good high your 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 reliable low but it'll take a shit ton of game knowledge to get to that point I'm gonna slow this down hold on a second yeah Jen's actually a good guy now just straight up. I mean, we were already getting that impression from the beginning. Let me see this. Yeah, this dude literally flies in. Jin was always a good guy, though. Tekken 6 Jin definitely was teetering on, you know, he, he's a character with a redemption story for a reason. There must be some real deep hidden lore about him maybe faking to be a bad guy, to be a good guy, to be a bad guy. Didn't this bitch like almost start World War III? 
And now he's wearing shit from like the gap? I do love the effects stuff, man. Wow, god damn, dude. All right, yeah, so we should just, we should just rename this bitch Jin Howard. Oh, that's badass, like the light in the eyes? Look at, oh, look at this. Oh, shit. <laughs> Giving you the demon eyes? <laughs> wow, the real shit's kicking in. So what was that follow-up? That was his like usual, like what, misstep sort of thing? Is like crouch cancel. It is. Wow, but it gets like some nutty ass follow up now. Oh, Jesus. Block twin pistons. Uh, was that stand two four? So you could do, I think it's stand two four, which is one of his like good punishes. I think that's what it was. And you could do, all right, uh, could you historically do a, a, an actual mix out of that? I don't think you could. That was just a punish. They did change Jin a lot, though. I mean, that might have that might have happened in Tekken Seven. I just didn't even realize. Oh, two to four did not have a cancel. Okay, okay. I was about. I'm like, have I just never seen it? Is it bad? Yeah, strength isn't everything. This is big, right? This is the fact that Jin's uh, Jin's come to the light side type shit. That's good. His new down two is from Lars, the not Mishima. That was stance before the dive kick. Yeah, let's go back and look at that really fast. Uh, so just upper. Wow, what the shit? Maybe, maybe one to two, then one plus two? This is, this is, then this is some Tekken 7 shit right here. Except that, that's new. So the good thing is that, yeah, once again, characters have familiar elements, but they're making them look different. And that's the, one of the most important things. Things need to look different than they had before. They're animating different, and they're, they have similar usability, for sure. I wonder what they're going to do with Lars, yeah. Back to the of oh, so that's the, the rush starter? Is that just, that's just like neutral one plus two? The beep, 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 beep. Fuck, that looks so sick. God damn, that looks so, god damn. Uh, uh, Jesus. And then this is like jump cancel or some weird, crazy shit. This has to be a, uh, and you weren't even done yet. This guy wasn't even finished. That was a, that was like a launcher into full ass combo into not done yet. The, the shit just cuts off. Yeah, he's way up there, dude. That might not actually be finished. Yeah, seeing all this Devil Jin stuff is really neat. So this acts as like the bound, right? Once again, this is like heat bound or whatever the heck they end up calling it. It almost like, weirdly enough, they have so many different spin states and screw states and and flip states and wall bounds now, different than seven and also regular bounds. Heat Smash, that's what it's called, yeah. They have so many different combo extensions. It's kind of, it's kind of ballistic. I'm curious like where the limitations are because it feels like they are just going insanely ham on how many things you can do, at least mid combo. Stance and a jump kick, yeah. Did, wait, did you just do that from a stand one? No, no, no. It was like 3-1 or whatever the heck it is into ducking stance. Yeah, all right, that's that that's sort of familiar. Shit. Welcome back to the stage of history. So this is almost identical to what we saw in Kazuya's trailer, right? Where it's like, uh, like the old force stance or whatever the heck it's called from like Tekken 3. She didn't have much usability. And it acts as like a, a true shield type shit, you know? Oh, back to, to, uh, four? Is that what it is? Damn, man. Damn, man. Damn, man. There's gonna be ways to, like, hit confirm that. 
if the game's gonna give you like ample time to hit confirm like forward forward two into fat shit that's gonna be scary as fuck Yeah, and this is, this is his usual ender, right? So this is very Tekken 70 stuff right here. Uh, so I, what I really love about the electrics in this game is that they have, they have mega trails, right? I, I remember really thinking electrics were fun in Street Fighter Cross Tekken because they gave them huge trails, right? So it's like they would hit and you would see the trail like catch up to the, the fist, making them even more satisfying. And they brought that here. Boom. So you get this like big old like sharp, like sharp input of lightning that comes behind stuff. I like it. Kazuya had the exact same thing. Unfortunately, this is the, uh, I don't think this is bad. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's... It, it's arguably, like, not not one of the worst ones, right? It's not... I actually like it a little bit more than what they're doing with Paul and Law. A little bit more. It's, it's funny that it ends up actually being the weakest part of the trailer.